much. Love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you too. <laughs> when you all, when you chose me as your Democratic nominee, I made you a vow. In our Georgia, no one would be unseen, no one is unheard, and no one is uninspired. But we, we know a vow, a vow takes effort. It takes commitment to hold truth. Reaching out, reaching across is hard work. But as I told you then, hard work is in our bones. And we have proven this every single day, Georgia, with doors knocked, with calls made, with miles traveled, with prayers prayed to the highest heavens. And tonight we have closed the gap between yesterday and tomorrow. But, but we still have a few more miles to go. But let's, hear me clearly, that too is an opportunity to show the world who we are. Because in Georgia, civil rights has always been an act of will and a battle for our souls. And because we have been fighting this fight since our beginnings, we have learned a fundamental truth. Democracy only works when we work for it. When we fight for it. When we demand it. And apparently today, when we stand in lines for hours to meet it at the ballot box, that's when democracy works. But I'm here tonight to tell you votes remain to be counted. There are voices that were waiting to be heard. Across our state, folks are opening up the dreams of voters in absentee ballots, and we believe our chance for a stronger Georgia is just within reach. But we cannot seize it until all voices are heard. And I promise you tonight, we're gonna to make sure that every vote is counted. Every single vote. Every vote can count. Because I'll tell you this, in a civilized nation, the machinery of democracy should work for everyone everywhere, not just in certain places and not just on a certain day. But what lies on the other side of our efforts? Our best lives are within reach. Fully funded public education in the state of Georgia. Medicaid expansion. And raising family incomes without raising taxes. Every Georgian that we have touched along the way understands the power of the vote. And I will tell you, this election has tested our faith. I'm not going to name names, but some have worked hard to take our voices away, to scare us away, to distract us. But if our vision is clear and we see the finish line. You, you have inspired me every single day of this campaign. I know what you sacrificed to make your way to the polls, to volunteer after work or on lunch breaks. And I know that you've put your faith in me. You'll do it again. <laughs> Georgia, you put your faith in me. But I want you to know tonight, the feeling is mutual. And I want you to look around. Tonight should be all the proof you need that when we put our faith in the great people of the state, there is nothing we can't accomplish together. This, this, this fundamental truth is why we fight on, because Georgia still has a decision to make, a decision between division and trickery, or a leadership that defends your rights, your kids, your career, your community, and your right to vote in America. That's what's on the ballot. 
Now, to all of Georgia's voters, including the 1.2 million who haven't shown up before, welcome aboard. But I want to say this, if I wasn't your first choice, or if you made no choice at all, you're going to have a chance to do a do-over. And I, I need you to know that it is my mission to serve you, to serve Georgia, to make you proud. And for those who didn't pick me the first time, to change your mind about me and what we can accomplish together. You see, I, I learned a long time we don't need to agree on everything. But I will always respect you and I will do everything I can to keep you safe and help you live your best lives. Because that's what leadership requires at this moment. And it is how we breathe life back into our republic when it seems to be shallow of breath. And to everyone who has already poured your precious time and energy and hard-earned dollars and your love into this campaign, I say thank you. And I urge you to stay with us. Because Georgia, friends, friends, we are still on the verge of history. And the best is yet to come. Because this is not about me. It's about us. It's about our voices. Say our voices. Our voices. It's about our votes. Say our votes. Our votes. It's about our time. Say our time. Our, time. our voices. Our, voice. our votes. Our, votes. Our, time. our time. Because we are Georgia. Say it with me. We are Georgia. We are Georgia. Say it with me. Say we are Georgia. We are, we are Georgia. We are Georgia. We are Georgia. So let's get it done. Thank you so much.